And we're getting right into THCP. We're doing a dive into what is in your cannabis. So we're looking at that alphabet soup that's on your label, pulling it apart to help you figure out what you're actually ingesting, kind of what it's doing to your body. So we are looking at the new, a new cannabinoid that is on the block. It's THCP, and people are talking about it. So THCP is a naturally occurring cannabinoid, right? Which means it occurs naturally in the cannabis plant. Uh, you don't have to make it in a lab, but it only is in trace amounts. So the honest truth is that we are making it in a lab. That's generally where you're going to find it these days. Uh, but THCP and Delta-9 THCP are actually pretty darn similar. But THCP just has a few extra carbon atoms tacked onto the end. But that little bit of change means a whole lot of effect. Scientists have found that uh, THCP can be up to 33 times more potent than regular Delta-9 THC. 33 times. Can you believe it? Uh, the, apparently that extra molly, those extra little bit of molecules help them bond to cannabino cannabinoid receptors in the body a whole, whole lot better than Delta-9 does. So cannabis can have up to 150 different cannabinoids and over 200 terpenes available in any one plant at any given time. So, and uh, during the time of semi-legalization, you know, farm bill loopholes, you know, and access to high-tech lab equipment, scientists are isolating all sorts of cannabinoids that we have never heard of, right? Uh, now, out there in Italy, the Military Chemical and Pharmaceutical Institute out of Florence, Italy, uh, they gave a homegrown Italian strain to scientists at the University of Salento. Uh, when they started taking a look at it, pulling it apart, uh, they, for the first time ever, isolated THCP. But they weren't really expecting to find it. So all they got a hold of was the kind of the chemical makeup, uh, how much it likes to bind to CB1, CB2 receptors. And when they gave it to mice, it, uh, it led to uh, uh, kind of symptoms of relaxation, reduction in pain, things like that. So there's still a lot of things we don't know about THCP, right? It's still early in the process. Um, and, but scientists are guessing that maybe some small amounts of THCP in different strains are the reason those strains are, can be a little more intoxicating than other strains with equivalent amounts of THC in them, like Delta-9 THC, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, so that's a... Boop, boop, boop. Hold on one second here. Uh, oh, man. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, but uh, so THCP, the, the, the strain they gave it over to uh, in Italy... Uh, it looked like it was a pretty unique strain. It was pretty high in THCP, kind of a special thing. So over here in the U.S., they've been uh, synthesizing it from hemp. So hemp is completely legal, thanks to the 2018 Farm Bill, uh, that legalized any sort of form of cannabis with less than 0.3% THC in it. Uh, but producers figured out that most cannabinoids come from one mother compound, that CBG, cannabigerol. Uh, which is totally legal because it comes naturally in hemp. And they figured out that when they tweak that CBG, they can produce a whole array of uh, psychoactive compounds that, as a result, are totally legal because they fall under that hemp umbrella. Uh, so technically, THCP, yes, is a hemp-derived cannabinoid and is legal. Uh, but that farm bill that legalized it, that little loophole, is going to be getting a late facelift over in September. So uh, I'm going to bet that thing is going to change. So don't count on that being the, that way for too long. But uh, before you go run out, go try to buy, get your hands on THCP any way you can find it. I do have a little word of caution for you. So hemp products are not regulated, right? So there's no real telling who made it or how they made it kind of leaves the door open to bad actors who can use cheap processes to make adulterated products that might not be super safe or even harmful, you know? So I wouldn't necessarily run out to a gas station and just pick up any THCP I found. And let's also remember that THCP causes an intense high, and intense highs have intense side effects. So if it's 33% stronger, you got to be careful of potential THC overdose, right? Greening out. So too much THC can be pretty darn unpleasant. I'm going to tell you, it could be, it could lead to loss of balance or vision, you know, elevated heart rate, hallucinations, get lightheadedness, dizziness. I uh, can't move your arms and legs. That sounds uncomfortable and extreme, extreme anxiety. So check out THCP, but be careful with it, guys. I don't want to see you get hurt.